Hello everyone, this is Wii, and welcome back to my playthrough of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last time we left off, we've... Uh, it turns out, uh, we've... Uh, Mario has had our had his body and name stolen. Oops. <laughs> and... And, uh... Relay, relaying his tale to Vivian, uh, we now... He... She... She now... She's now joining us. Uh, now our first course of business is to try and find out the go find out the ghost's name that took uh that took Mar uh, that took Mario's identity. I've been really depressed lately, thinking about the depletion of fossil fuels. Yeah, tell me about it. We've got to come up with a renewable energy source before that happens, like wind or hydroelectric. Hy hydroelectric. I think solar energy probably has a great greatest potential. Well, that's uh, helpful. Solar in a place like this... Ah, I don't know. Uh, I think I can write... <laughs> yeah, this time I'll stay for a bit. <laughs> oh, hello. Did you sleep well? Well, have a nice twilight. Hmm. I just kinda wish I could pick that up. Well, it's been used, I think. <laughs> oh, that's not how I wanted to pick it up, but alright. We got a peachy peach. A uh, fruit found in Twilight Town. I think that's something that's... I think that's something I haven't mentioned yet. Sometimes when you sleep in inns, there will be an item waiting for you. So you get a full heal. And an uh, item to... and an item to boot. Uh, let's go put that peachy peach away. <laughs> I didn't want to risk leaving, uh... I didn't want to risk leaving, uh... And then the peachy peach going away, so... And then, uh, Dupre, Dupre over there still... Still yelling at this guy. I'm just gonna put this away, because... Chances are I could uh, use it to cook later. And now... Huh? I do not understand this madness. Padu... Padu to. Not at all. I just do not get it. I remember coming here through that pipe. But it gets fuzzy after that. And now I do not know why I am here. Not that it is a problem. This young woman is quite fetching, eh? You cad. I collect the goods and she sells them. Simple. A good shop, like a good marriage, is dependent on teamwork, my friend. So show your support and buy something. I just did. These two will argue until we... These two will argue until the cows come home. Or at least until Dupree gives up. Are there any more birds around? Oh, here's one. Oh, here's two. Alright. Hey, Mod. Listen to this. Ronnie, my oldest, is taking his SATs this year. Oh, is little Ronnie that age already? Well, bless my fetters, Flo. Hmm. Oh, that's helpful. Except not really. Alas, this twilight, this twilight world is too full of pain and contradiction. Too full of broken dreams. Perhaps I was only given wings so that I could flee the terror of mundanity. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how I'm going for it. Oh, well, I got less this here. So that Mario guy meeting with the mayor. He's actually the bad guy, right? And nobody even knows. Humans are so dumb, it makes me want to peck their noses. The only so that knows the bad guy's name is, un is locked under creepy steeple, I hear. And it's obvious that saying his real name is his one weakness. So, I wonder how this is, how all this is gonna end up then. And there we go. Did you hear that? If we search for the cre creepy steeple, Maybe you can find out that guy's real name. Let's go to Creepy Steeple. And so back to Creepy Steeple we go. It's gonna be a long walk, that's for sure. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. I could have done this back in town, but that wouldn't have looked very good, would it? You again. 
So, this is the this is the one who stole your name and body. Hmm. He so it looks he looks sort of familiar to me. Alright, Kanda Chatter. Here's the deal. You get your chance, then I stomp you. If you guess my real name, then you get your body and name back. By the way, no name. Guess name or escape. This is interesting. Well, no point in guessing the name. Bye. Ah, that's no fun. He must have been hiding there in ambush, waiting for you to show up. Oh, uh, forget him. Let's go get your name back. Weak. The daisies aren't, though. Back off. Oh, not you. <laughs> you get the luxury. Well, I'm pretty sure we saw with that little uh, fiasco on the last on the last part just how dangerous daisies can be. Though, okay, yeah, we can. There we go. So, uh, Vivian's Shade Fist command. The stylish timing is to uh, press A the moment she returns back. Yeah, yeah, you just run away, you lousy. Let me murder this guy instead. With Vivian, things there will be a little bit more easier. I can also go and try and take on... I can definitely... I can also try and take on uh, a Maisy Daisy now, but probably still gonna go pear shaped. Especially since it ran, so you didn't get to see it, but it hits hard. I think it does like 10, maybe 20. So yeah, it would literally take me out in one go if it if it actually had its way. This guy has a power punch. No, fire drive, you are dying. Okay, this two, three. He'll get to attack, that's for sure. Never mind, he uses that power punch. His friend will attack though. Oh no, he will charge. Though here comes the here comes the big money question. Uh, that might be enough. Ah, no, that's not what I want. Aha. Uh -huh. Bit of a tight squeeze, but it works. Heck are you? The heck are you doing with that? The heck are you doing with that mush? The heck are you doing with that super? I categorically refuse. You cannot have that.
Of course, this is just enough to damage it, to damage it, and not take it out. Which is why Shade Fist will finish it off. Go away! Yeah, a shape is shape is only makes contacts. So <laughs> it can uh, it can hurt us. It can either hurt flying or grounded enemies just fine. You know, I've never checked. Low 14. Okay. Oops. Uh, timed that wrong. Oh well. Yeah, you know, let's show off Veil. Oh, uh. And that's uh, that's all the items I have. That's all the that's all the room I have. The only throw items to you if you don't if you actually have room to hold on to them. In case, let's show off Veil. B A B A B. That allows us to hide and dodge these guys if they sing. That one's running. The hypercleft will very much just charge. So yeah, uh, after Veil. So yeah, Veil can help protect you, but it does eat up turns. Ugh. Oh, Timber! Takes care of him. Knock that thing's lights out. It's running, isn't it? Yep. Cowards, those things, really. Uh, let's get rid of an Earth Mushroom Fry. <laughs> Need it after that fiasco anyway. Oops, wrong one. Down we go. Ooh. Cleft! Isn't this a lot of them? Okay, we're using an error. Okay, we're using an error. Item. Or no, let's let's see if this works. I seriously appreciate if these guys. Uh, if they actually get frozen uh, stopped this time. All but one of them. Isn't that typical? Amazingly enough, I never did tattle this guy. Right, what are you planning on doing, you? Eat Quake. Let's take you out first. Pick 
pixels away. Now I'll take that coin, thank you very much. Sweet. Uh, now here's something. Uh, these guys are immune to fire. Uh, but the primary hit will do damage at least. They won't get burned, that's for sure. Yikes, I get these star points back really fast, jeez. Since we need to go under Creepy Steeple, uh, down the well it is. With all the buzzy beetles that entails. Look out! Oops. Uh, just like the class, uh, Buzzy Beetles are immune to fire, so they can't burn. Well, they can't be inflicted with burn. Uh, not quite, but, uh... Oh, too, too far. One star point each. It's too crowded in here. I think we might have to take. A, I think we might have to do a bit of extermination. That is the wrong thing to do to these guys. They need to upturn all of them at least. So. You know, no. Forget upturning them, Earth Tremor. Let's not get ready, you guys. Darn. Yep, still too crowded. What are you doing with that slow shroom? No, let's uh, let's start getting some flower points back. Jeez. No, no, no. Close. 
Uh, six flower points, average. Actually, no, six is pretty high. Four or five would be average. Won't do much. I'm trying it. Haha! -ha! Haha! -ha! Alright, you guys have been getting on my nerves for a bit now. Oh! Ooh! This spike top has to go. I seem to get better luck on it if I try and aim for if I'm trying to aim for star, so maybe that's how I will, should put my mindset on. If I try if I have a star lineup, I should aim for aim for the flower. Of course that uh, that uh, that shine bingo really helped. Tops me off and I can just move on from here. Look out! Ah, he's guarding that thing. Alright. Now, we... now, uh, when I came down here before, we could push this, but the problem was it could only be pushed to... to a point. As I'll demonstrate right now. Yep. All we can do... Of course, we can't get past this, but with Vivian, we can. Just like that. Now we're on the other side of the creepy steeple. Let's look around. We got a shine here. Let's roll up! Get over there. Ooh. No, closer. There we go. And we're in the back, okay. Um, this way, maybe? Uh huh. Something over here. Oop. Probably should have, uh. Why am I doing this again? You know what, these mushroom fries, even if I can't, even if I'm not getting much out of them, uh, we've got super mushrooms anyway. Alright, let's take a look at these things. We got the letter P. The small letter P. Or the letter lowercase P. There we go. And we got the steeple key. Good morning, good morning. What else we got in here? I did a Power Plus badge. Oh, that would be helpful. But yeah, extremely nasty to equip. Uh, let's. I'd rather, I'd rather just, I'd rather just, I'd rather just have damage reduction over. I'd rather just have damage reduction over a uh, uh, lucky chance of dodging. Interesting. There, there might have been something on the other side, and uh, gotta, gotta head back out now. Gotta head back over there. Unless that's a wall. Uh, Looks like a wall. Alright. We'll leave it as is then. 
Oh, this is this pipe is interesting, but uh, let's use Vivian. Let's uh, let's see what this bird has to say. Huh? Huh? What happened to those two weirdos? What happened to those weirdos who were just here? Ah, whatever. It was almost nice to have some company. I mean, no matter how important it is that no one knows no that no one know his real name. Locking me up in here just because I know it. And making me guard the stu name's stupid missing letter. No way to treat a parrot. I really want a cracker. Duplice, you're a big meaty. You're a big meanie. When's feeding time, huh? Probably want a cracker, huh? Ah, uh, pretty bird! Pretty bird! <laughs> we uh, too, bad, too bad, we've already learned it. I decided to go with a parrot voice for the last two. Oh well. <laughs> we heard that. We heard you, little birdie. Dupless. That's his name. Now let's get your name and body back from that meanie. And we'll teach him a lesson or two while we're at it. Thumbs up. Alright, let's see where this goes. Though I might have an idea. There was no pipe there before. Aha! That's a quick way back to the steeple. In fact, that's a very quick way back to the steeple. Okay, look, I... Okay, look, I... I have my patience for items. And the game keeps giving me to them. Keeps giving me them. Oh, Alright, what do I get rid of? All these boost sheets are useful. The current shell is also very useful. I'm just gonna put away two of these since I primarily heal using Sweet Treat. Right, that should be enough. Okay, let's go conf let's go confront the guy. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. Hey, Slick, time to cancel your magazine subscriptions, because you're getting erased. But first, please amuse me with one more guess. It really gives me joy to watch you squirm in futility as you try to guess my name. So, hit me one more time. Yep, we're guessing it this time. Turns out that missing P was important after all. In any case, his name is D-O-O-P-L. I S S. Of course, we couldn't use. Of course, we need it to be. Of course, we actually need it to be the actual uh, correct casing. So the P, the uppercase P, does not help here. Your name is Dupless. What? What did you just say? It can't be. No, 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 why, 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 why? Oh, jeez, calm down, man. I'm feeling faint. Ah! Ooh! Hmm. Now it's our turn. Let's get your name and body back. Where would you go to hide? Well, let's, uh... Well, let's head him off. Almost. Honestly, I'm I'm a bit curious. Isn't that it? Nah, it's probably just the mayor alone in this house now. But uh, let me just go. Ch I'm just gonna go check anyway. You know what? Since we don't have, uh, since we don't have Shadow with us, this is probably the faster way through. <laughs> For a curse that seems... <laughs> you, huh? You know how there are many Shadows at Twilight? Take a hint. That's a... That's a pork. That's a... <laughs> that's a roast pork on that table. You would think that with the whole town, town having turned into piggies, they 
having turned into pigs for a bit. They would at least they would at least appreciate pigs more, but uh, I guess not. Everything should be more or less kept as this. This is up here quite nicely. Of course, I'd rather avoid the booze. Oh, the soups are back too. Oh, well. That's a crowd. That's a big crowd. That's a very big crowd. Not very helpful at all, dude. Oops. Okay, so it works. Oh, you jerk. Just waste my time, why don't you? Ah, say hi to the crowd, Vivian. No, you know what? Just for that alone. Get power smashed. Uh-huh. Uh, for the love of... Uh, we got a defend plus badger wall back, didn't we? Well, I sorted it, but I sorted it again, but uh, damage dodge. Yeah, we do. Hmm. What? Uh, what to swap out? Uh, I don't think we need hammer throw for a hammer throw for the time being. Oh, I could have gotten tornado. Actually, throw that whole thing. We never got a chance to level up. That's interesting. Still need, still need some more points. Uh, probably don't need multi bounce. I'll keep power jump. Uh, ditch the two last dance for now and put on defend plus. I probably want. Uh, I probably still want. Okay, since we don't have, uh, since we don't have shadow, I can take off charge P. So one last stand, one and defend plus to just uh, keep things going. Alright, once more, we climb up and confront and make our confrontation at the top of the steeple. Only this time the fight's inversed. Let's do this. Hey, you again, eh, Slick? You're very stubborn to follow me all the way here. Fine, fine. I see. I get it. Let's just put an end to this, shall we? 
All right, kids, put on your fighting gloves. Uh, woohoo! It's a me. Sure thing, Mario. We're right there with you. This creep couldn't take us on his own, so he so he teamed up with with the three minus two shadows. Well, we certainly won't. Well, we certainly won't be letting him do anything to our little Mario. You're gonna taste the pain, Gonzalez style shadow guy. Very good, my loyal ones. How dare this nameless nobody challenge a great Mario? Mario, the guy who stole your stole your name and body is Mario. That means you're Mario. Yeah, actually, no point in denying it to you. I can't believe it. All this time I was helping Mario. I feel like an idiot. What's going on here, huh? Fight with your girlfriend? Well, don't expect any sympathy from us, ghoulies. Let's dance. Now, this fight can end really quick. Since all you have to literally do is, uh, attack. Attack Duplis here. Yuck, 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 yuck. See? Your friends ditch you because you don't have the charisma of me, Super Mario! That's quite a bit. Of course, we can't... We can't fully tell how... We... Of course, without Goombella, all we can gauge is from our memory. If anything, Goombella has about... Should have about 20. Yeah, just try it, Goombella. It'll be a last thing you do. They are still party members. And they are still... And... They are still party members. So, like it or not, Clock Out... This is probably the only boss fight in which Clock Out could work. Of course, I could be wrong. Oh, dude, was didn't suffer it. And zap tap paying off dividends. What? Damage? God, that's right, you guessed my name! And now stuff hurts sometimes! I... I'm... I'm sorry, sis. This Mario was the only person who has ever been kind to me. Hmm? Mario! Mario! I'm fighting by your side from now on! I've... I've made my choice. And I'm not turning back. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Goombella. Sorry, Goombella. And the same goes for everyone, too. But I'm doing this just because I can. I'm not holding a grudge. It's just amusing. Yep. <laughs> uh, hit the mushroom. Oh, ouch. The hammer still hurts, though. Let's get some health back. <coughs> of course, this definitely feels much more like a boss fight since you have to actually contend with a lot more dangerous attacks. Yeah, just keep jumping on me. Coin. Thank you. Mario. I, Mario, I totally failed you. Ugh. Say hi, crap, Vivian. In fact, why did I keep quick change on that? That was that's useless here. <laughs> Oops. Ding. 
Uh, yeah, as Goombella's mentioned. Uh, yeah, Zatap does not work on Koops. And Koops still behaves like a Koopa, so. Incoming! Don't need that. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this will take a bit. Power lift time. I don't think anything will hurt us. I don't think anything will hurt us now. Oh, oh, Mario! Sorry. Ugh. <laughs> well, the jump will work, but sorry, sorry, uh, Flurry, but that. But that won't count. Zap Tap will protect you from all but Koops, actually. Oops. Missed the stylish timing on that. Keep trying, pal. What the heck are you doing with that rock? Get out of here! <laughs> you see I'm busy? Mario dear! Forgive me! Uh. You know, I don't- I really don't know just how much health he has. Oh well. Say out of crap, Vivian! <laughs> Your shadow. What makes you think that worked, huh? Well, that's worth something. Two of power lift. Look, bub, how many times have you tried that and then and that's failed? Right, I was five. Yep, power lift time. Come on, hit me. <laughs> it looks like it looks like it looks like the Yoshi got is the smartest of the bunch of G's. Here, fire drive. Oh super amped fire drive. Ha <laughs> ha! 
No, I ain't surviving. Gonzalez! Uh, Gonzalez, avenge me! Oh. <laughs> oh. How dare you try to do this to the great Super Mario? How dare you! How many times have you tried that and it's failed, bub? Can't really gauge your health, so. Clearly not enough. Timber! <laughs> And that's it. No. Why? How? Not even not even enough, jeez. Oh, well that takes care of you. Oh, that's a interesting way for it to, that's an interesting way for it, for the disguise to fall off huh and I'm back rats you kill joys get out of here what he ran away I mean wait just what the heck is going on here that wasn't a real Mario did we get shell-winked? How could we ever mistake our dear Mario for another? Another? You have our deepest apologies. So who's this girl, huh? Isn't she one of the three shadows you guys mentioned? Why would Gonzalez pair with one of those creeps? Well, I... uh... Oh, yeah. Oh. Mario. Mario. Thanks for sticking up for me. Well, thanks to her, I guess you came through this okay. No sweat, right? Uh, listen, Mario. Sorry about earlier. I'd be happy to travel with you with you if you'll have me. Thumbs up. Now Vivi and now Vivian has really joined our party. This is for you. And we finally got it for real. That's our fourth crystal star. Star power is five, and we've learned Art Attack. And thus for real, we have now come to the end of chapter four. Mario defeated the rogue who had stolen his name and appearance. Now Mario has four crystal stars. That leaves a three, mere three more to find. And that means his quest to collect all of the Crystal Stars is more than half over. Now Mario heads off towards his next adventure with his new friend Vivian. But what about Beldum and Marilyn? And what became of the doppelganger, Dupless? Vivian is so very late! Where has that scatterbrain been all this time? Gah. There's Duplass. And now we come to the Peach Intermission. <laughs> Are you sure about this? Speak up, x not. Yes, sir. Quite sure. I poured all over all our research of the Thousand Year Door. And it appears the ceiling, and it appears the ceiling power has definitely been weakening, as Beldum said. <laughs> Finally, the Treasure of Legend. The ancient power of darkness will soon be ours! <laughs> listen and listen well. Keep giving the Crystal Star Search top priority. Of course, that also includes the elimination of Mario, that nuddling scum. Got it, sir. X! <laughs> soon, I will have the power that has slipped for a millennium. So very soon. And when that glorious day dawns, I'll throw the world into the depths of terror. 
No one can stop me now. All will kneel before the x naught regime. Regime. And then I, Grotus, will build a new world. A perfect, ideal world. Yes, a world made by me. About me and for me. Tech, did you Tech, did you call me? What shall I do today? Will I be dancing, perhaps? Disguising? Or will I sing a song or something? I... I am conflicted. Huh? What's wrong, Tick? You don't seem yourself. Which is more important? Carrying out an order, or protecting a critical person? I exist for the purpose of a certain person. I wish to exist for the purpose of another. I do not know what to do. Really. What do you mean? No. No, never mind. Please forget my musings. I do not know why, but it makes me feel unpleasant if I make you worry. Well, in any case, let us have a quiz. A quiz? That is right. I am about to ask you a series of questions. Please choose the correct answer among, the th among three options. If you can answer five questions, you may use the communicator as usual. What's with you all of a sudden, huh? Now, the first question. What will happen if you collect seven crystal stars? Uh, with that, we know that the thousand year door opens. Correct. Now, the second question. What is the goal of Grotus, leader of the x Uh, this was in the previous chapter, previous Peach Intermission. He wants to conquer the world. He also mentioned it earlier. Correct. Now, the third question. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the thousand year door? Tech! Is this. Princess, please answer. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the thousand year door? Tempting as it is, money doesn't mean much. And badges. You would think Ms. Mouse would find a way in there. So, process of elimination gives this a thousand year old demon's soul. Correct. Now the fourth question. What does Sir Grotus wish to do with this ancient demon's soul? Well, two of them don't make any sense. So it has to be... So obviously, Grotus wants to bring the demon back to life. Correct. Now the fifth question. What is required to seal up the demon again? The Legend of the Sword, that's not... This is not Zelda. Magic spell... Not quite sure what would that be. Obviously, the same thing. Obviously, the same thing to open the door. The crystal stars. Correct. You have correctly answered all five questions. Now you may use the communicator. Tech, you. Was it okay for you to tell me such things? Please input the message you wish to send. Of course, all that information is now being sent to us. Uh, okay. I'm done. Could you send it? The message has been sent. That is all for now. Please go back to the room. Thank you. You're still a weird computer tech. Good night, Princess Peach. And system shutting down. Or going to sleep, at least. Now paging the King of Awesome! <laughs> My lord! I have received reports of a great secret in the floating town of Glitzville! Let's ride the cheap blimp there! Come now! You there! You there! Two tickets, one great and evil king, and one sweet young thing. Go, 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 good gravy! B Bowser, the evil king, and a deluded old hag. I, uh, life's too short. <laughs> Get on the rails, why don't you? What did he say? Hey, come back here, you, you impudent little cheapskate. 
And he's a cheat sheet. That's a nice pun. Hey, I'm talking myself! Where'd Lord Bowser go? I mean, who needs a blimp when you have this awesome clown car? <laughs> Forget that wimpy blimpy. I'll be riding this baby! I snuck into Glitzville once before, so I know the way. No problemo! You go easy on your old limbs and take a slow ride on the blimp, Grandma! <laughs> and... she lost her broom. Wait! Lord Bowser! Please! Ah! Now my special dirigible deluxe brown candy lunch will go to waste! Warning light, don't tell me. Ah! <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> well, into the drink of Bowser. Round two. This awesome fire breath. Can burn coral even. One more of these and coal still in the way. Swim. Of course, uh, yeah, that effect wears off. And I don't think, and I don't think we're finding any more, uh, meat. And down we go. Oh, here we go. Miss all the coins, why don't you? Oh. <laughs> Punch away the flagpole. Oh, was was that a? I'm gonna have to go over that recording and see. I don't think fire. I don't think I've ever noticed that there were fireworks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was terrible. I gotta get in shape. Who's? Oh, it's Bowser, the Koopa King. He'll eat us someone else. You are Lord Bowser. What are you doing over here? I've been looking all over. If I may ask, where have you been, your sogginess? <laughs> you, you swimming. You even call him soggy. <laughs> really? Neat. As for me, Glitzville was fantastic. The boys were so cool. I was overcome. Why, even at my age, I was shaking what my mama gave me. And then the hot dogs. Oh my gracious! Generally, you have fun too, hmm? Torch. <laughs> Lord, Lord Bowser. Is that a no? It was terrible, you heard, hear me? I saw all of the dark blooper. I wanted to have fun. But forget it, it's over. Go give me some solid info on Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars now. And now back to Mario. I can't believe it was a fake Mario all that time. So we were all fooled. I'm so sorry, Mario. After all you've done for our town, did we hurt your feelings? Nah, not really. You're a bigger man than I, Mario. Such fortitude. You're a true hero. You've brought a shining ray of light to our dim little town. Twilight Town thanks you. 
Hey Mario, we need to get back to Robeport, right? Let's go. Please come back to visit anytime you like. Well, we're gonna be here for a bit yet. It's cause, uh... This is... That, that'll be it for now. This has ran on far longer than I needed it to. Alright. So yeah, thank you guys for now. And next time we come back to my playthrough of Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. We'll head back to Rogueport and... And, uh... <laughs> prepare for, our, for the next leg of our adventure. Alright. I'll see you guys next time then. Until then, bye guys.